Okay, so the key, the key to this one, number two always has a, a, one of these things there. The key is to just compare this to the formula, right? So x is equal to x naught, that's the amplitude, right? Sine omega t, right? So clearly this must be omega. This has got to be our amplitude, right? Okay, so then what is its maximum velocity? Well, Let's figure this out. There's omega, right? Maximum velocity happens when uh, the position is zero. That is, it's right through equilibrium. So I can use V as plus or minus omega squared minus x squared, right? Okay. Now, um, the maximum velocity then, right, V naught is going to be plus or minus. Actually, it's not plus or minus, it's just plus, right? omega times the square root of x naught squared minus x squared. Well, we're going to put in zero in there because it happens, the maximum speed happens at equilibrium, right? So this thing always collapses down into omega times x naught, right? Because the square root of x naught squared or the amplitude squared is just the amplitude, right? So this should be in the data packet in my opinion, but it's not. Right, so there's the derivation there, right? So we can just take our omega, which is 5.1 radians per second, right? And multiply by our amplitude, which is 7.2 meters, apparently. Right, and radians aren't really any units, so we're going we're gonna to end up with meters per second, right? So 5.1 times 7.2 is 36.72 meters per second, right? which with two sig figs, we'd have to say 37.